great. It's a really good idea to, to get as many people together and, and talk about things and talk about, um, I suppose, what's been memorable, what's been not so memorable, what, what's got you through it, what's helped get us through it. So that's what we're going to talk about, I think, with the music, because I think all of us, um, I don't know, hopefully you found, I think, the selection and choosing some music was really interesting. talk about music and music that's happened and that you listen to so I mean we, you've all been asked and we've all been asked to think about certain three certain types of tracks so um can we kick off then Josh with yours and sort of the track that maybe sums you up because it's, everyone's picked some really interesting things I think actually from the list that, that have been sent through but but what what and why as a, as a musical track do you think summed you up so I chose, I chose um, a song from WizKid uh, from an album that he recently uh, released, it's called uh, Blessed. And I just think, obviously, the position I'm in, uh, where I've come from, and that uh, just the people I have around me, I literally just think I'm blessed. Like, I'm blessed to do what I what I love to do. Um, playing for so, like Brentford, like being at a club like that, and the people that work there, and yeah, I just feel like I'm blessed to have the opportunity to do what I'm doing, you know, like obviously during lockdown as well, a lot of people, you know, it was, it was hard. It was even hard for me. Like I even said to the, I even said to the coaches, like if it was one more week, I would have just took a bag of footballs and jumped over the training ground and started kicking balls by myself because it was getting, it was hard, you know, like just not knowing when we're going back and, you know, just to see the players and obviously a lot of people didn't get the opportunity to do that. So for me, yeah, that song sort of, I'd say sums me up and my outlook on life. I just feel like I'm blessed to be where I am. Um, and go, I love it. And, uh, yeah. and so, and so, I know you chose you chose Ava Max as a song that that um, sort of you represents you, didn't you? Yeah. Um, but also, come on, so this. Um, the, the sort of the song we asked you also to talk to choose another thing another cash group is a song that represents your future and your hopes can you tell us what your song was for that um Katy Perry for... okay and is there any reason is it because she's just, I don't know you, you tell me because it like it talks about how you like never give up and I like I want to be like the first girl on the men's football team so Fantastic. That's a, that's a that's a really that's a really strong. Amber's nodding away to that. I can say, yeah, that goes down well with Amber. What's your, what's your uh, selection as far as sort of when it comes to uh, a, a track that represents what your future hopes and dreams might be? Uh, it's literally the same song. So the, the song that we play um, before every game, Dream the Nightmares, is a. Uh, yeah, it's just a, a good song, it's upbeat. Um, it just gets me going. Like since since I've been at so I've been it's been the same song for like I've been at Brentford two now, just over two years. And that's been the same song that we've played and I more or less know the words now. <laughs> because, you know what I mean? I know know what it um yeah, I just know the words because you play it so much and yeah, it, it gets me going, you know, when I listen to it it just yeah, I'm ready to, to rock and roll. If I can ask you, Daniel, as well, because you volunteer, don't you? You help out with volunteering. Um, yeah. And that was that was the really big thing of this year, and it has been a really big thing of this year, the number of people who have decided, whether it's because they started doing something just to help out locally, but they've decided to, to want to volunteer more and more. So if someone came to you and said, well, why should I try and help out? Why should watch? You know, I've got a couple of hours a week to volunteer doing something. What, what, what's the, what's the great thing about volunteering that you get out of it? I think volunteering because um, the position I was in, you know, I can then take that and you know help the the younger ch children, you know, and then ch help them, you know, and help them guide through and what's gone on and you know help them through it. That's great, yeah. So you get something um, out of it yourself, don't you? You, you, you get something positive out of it. Which is, yeah, yeah, Phil, I, 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 Daniel volunteers on my projects. He's underselling yeah. the work that he does because over lockdown we did um, 
Short Breaks, which is a project for young people with disabilities. And it's the first time we actually went online and produced a newsletter. And Daniel also planned games and energizers that he delivered himself. Um, I did try and join in in a session, but I think Daniel's taking my place now. Um, they prefer Daniel to me. So, oh, really? yeah, honestly, um, they Daniel's a little bit older, so he's he, you know, that positivity and the encouragement and the the banter is what Daniel brings to the sessions. Um, and Daniel also volunteers in the after school club now. So he comes from college and then goes and supports staff in a school because we're lucky enough to deliver in school. But the skill set that he has, he's right. He's happy. He will help staff. He'll, t you know, he's he's a massive Brentford fan. I don't know if you know that. Um, and he won't mind me telling you one year he was checking the transfer window in my session and I had to get him to put his phone away and say it's not acceptable in a session. <laughs> um, but the positivity and the happiness and the young people really enjoyed being around Daniel even online. So he's a massive credit, I think, to himself in terms of what he brings to our sessions. Um, so, yeah. What about you? What sort of what sort of song did you sort of think about that, that represents the hopes, that represents those dreams that you have pushing forward, your ambitions? Yeah, so I, uh, I chose uh, All Night Long by Lionel Richie um, because obviously it's a song that I knew from a, lo a long time ago, but um, a while, a couple of years ago, I was watching uh, Floyd Mayweather fighting and he was like, he was showing his training camp and he was playing it in the back and he was like running on like a long road and that like, that song is always like, whenever I heard that song, it just always thought of me, like him training and how how dedicated he was and how much he wanted it. So that like, whenever I used to, so he used to go on runs and obviously certain days you just wouldn't, like you wouldn't feel for it. But whenever I heard that song, I just thought, you know what, I've got to go do it. You know, there's a bigger picture. And yeah, like, it just, I'll play it, put it in my headphones, I'll have it on repeat, literally. I'll listen to it like 10 times in a row while I'm doing my run, and it will get me through. So yeah, that song, I think, helped me a lot. Lee, can I just, have, have we had one of your musical choices yet, Lee? I mean, this is not, you know, I'm not suggesting that they're, they're, they're rascal in any way, shape, or form. Um, but, uh, <laughs> I mean, firstly, just just in regards to obviously from from the positivity that people get out, and and also the recognition of what youngsters do, what the oldsters do, um, is has been fantastic this year, hasn't it? Yeah, amazing, amazing. Yeah, I think uh, just during this time, I mean, we made it. I remember speaking to you right at the start on your program, and you were saying, "What are you going to do?" And we said, "We're going to take this on, you know, and we're going to keep as many people." active as we can and we're going to find ways of getting people active and get on the front foot because i said then i think it will be the defining point of organizations like ours that try and help people you know and particularly when you link that to sport and you know what the club did last year and the stadium everything else there's so much to look forward to and i think everybody needs that hope and optimism um, so yeah, a lot of my tracks, I don't know where they're rascal feel, but they were all no, about not at all. Not they're at all, all about optimism, definitely, and celebration. Yeah, you're right. Is that because you're an optimistic, uh, an optimistic guy, though? I, lo I love to learn. I love, you know, and listen to people. And I'm always, I think, you never stop learning, do you? And uh, and I'm always, in, you know, sort of inquiring. I suppose I've got an inquiring mind, but the creativity as well. And you see, even tonight, you know, meeting new people and listening to their tracks you know what a good way to spend spend time and we wouldn't frankly be doing it probably if we hadn't had lockdown so okay. you know there's there there are things to take out of it um so yeah what, what, what's the track that sums you up then tell, tell um, everyone the track that sums you up that you from yeah, your perspective yeah so ben howard keep your head up um a friend of ours you know was really unwell and i sent them the, the sort of some of the lyrics a, a little while ago and they they recovered and then you look at him if you don't know him and um, and his band, they're so creative. Um, and we just, even during lockdown, you know, we had 
we'd have dinner, we wouldn't, and we'd just have the music on, sort of thing, and we'd be talking, and then we'd watch him live. And uh, it is all about like keep your head up, keep your heart strong, you know, keep your mind still, like things we talked about tonight. And uh, yeah, he's got it's just amazing, sort of. Um, he always is uplifting for me, and certainly my wife loves loves it too. Daniel, can I ask you what what did you choose as far as a, a song that um, you identified or identifies you, or, or sort of you know you closely identify with? Uh, so the song I did was um, Happy by Pharrell Williams because I think I mostly see myself as, you know, a happy person, you know, I'm never really not, uh, you know, annoyed and just happy generally. It's sort of sums, and it's, I mean, it's a very happy song, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Do you, do you tap and sing along with it? Uh, sometimes. It's been great, to, it's been great to share your tracks. I didn't, I didn't put my down, I was, I was cheating as much, but, um, I, uh, I wanted to hear what, uh, what, what you lot had selected as well. So, it's, uh, Josh, thank you for, for your time as well and, and everyone else uh, for, for being with us. Um, it'd be nice to do something like this actually face to face at some point, wouldn't it? And sort of, sort of get the music and, and actually have it blasting out through speakers and, and have other people sort of at some point, not necessarily commenting, we could almost do it like, hey, woo, don't like that one, but it'd be, it'd be nice to actually do it face to face and sit down. Because that's the other thing, you know, with, with the, the sort of contact of, of actually being with each other. Um, you know, it's nice seeing faces on screens, but it's a bit, it's still, every now and again, I probably went a bit fuzzy. Um, but it'd be, at some point, maybe we could do it again and, and we could choose some different types of tracks.